people, my name is Rage, and welcome to all to the third Rage's Weekly Minecraft Challenge. You have been gov slap gov gov clapped. You have been cl clapped to the. <laughs> Why can't I do the igly? Why? So before I introduce the winner of last week's triple death challenge and go on to this week's, I want to address a few things that a. I don't mind, guys, if you get technical on the rules. I kind of like people getting technical, as long as you don't push it too far. And I mean technicalities like technically the slash kill command counts as a death, although no one thought of that in their actual submissions, at least not that I saw, so that kind of thing. Number two, I realize that technically a lot of random elements are involved in terms of the seed that you get, so I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. Would you like me to set a specific seed everyone must use for the challenge, or do you think it's more fun to leave it random? I mean, obviously, you've got to choose between a more proper, less random competition, so it is actually who's best, but then we can counter that with the fact that it's kind of more fun with the randomness, because that adds a kind of, oh, element to it, so let me know on that front. Thirdly, I do check every submission that they actually do generate a random seed. Obviously, I do check that. I just cut it out of the video I show you guys of the winner, because it's kind of, you know, you don't need to see that. So believe me, I am doing this as fairly and as properly as possible. I hope I have got that covered. And guys, when you submit a video for this, you don't need to use a timer. You're submitting a video. A video has a, a time on it because it's a video. You don't need a timer on screen because I can just look at the seconds of the long is the video. Y you, you see? Okay, so last week's channel, the triple, last week's channel, yes, last week's channel, I can't ingly today, I just can't. Last week's channel was the triple death, and here is the winner. And he begins by simply jumping in a pit of lava, conveniently found next to spawn, but don't worry guys, as I said, of course, check the seeds, and this is the technical thing I was talking about. Well, dying to lava is one death, technically, you can use dying to fire from the lava as a second death as each different type of death text does count. And then while dying, he's preparing the suffocation death from sand. I mean, this is what you call pretty damn efficient. So now we simply wait for him to die a terrible doom death in his tomb of sand for an awesome time of 38 seconds. And, and his own casually edited in like comment. I have no idea why he felt the need to put that in. Actually, it's really weird. Okay guys, let's do this week's. Now, this is going to be called the Triple Parkour Multi-Block Challenge, and it sounds complicated, but really the rules are simple. Load into your random world for now. Load into your random world for... <sighs> Just please Minecraft. Please Minecraft. Now the neat thing about this challenge is that it involves some skill as well as straight up RNG because how this is going to work is the following. Was, am I on hardcore? I feel like I'm on hardcore. Either way, you think I care? So what you have to do is build a triple four block jump section of parkour and that's probably a terrible way of explaining it. So just watch. Watch and enjoy the challenge. Now, you need to do this with three different blocks, and they all have to be at least one block in the air. So now if I have acquired three different types of blocks, this is what you must do. So first step, get three different types of blocks as quickly as possible. Then, find a nice open space and make three rows of four block jumps. There we go. One, two, three, four, and boom! Once you've got this set up, you are looking pretty good. Dirt is going to be my first block. Birch is going to be my second, and Birch Planks my third. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you must complete the parkour on your triple block jump. God damn it. And as soon as you have completed the parkour on these triple four block jumps, you challenge complete. There we go. Not terribly complicated, although I explained it terribly because I am an utter moron. Like, really? What? It just, it is your fault, sheep and chicken. You judged me. You looked at me. You made me nervous. And because of you, you, Larry, specifically you, I took longer than I should have done. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The triple block parkour challenge. Three different types of blocks. Four blocks between them. Do both jumps and then you are complete. Uh, email to uh, the email in the description because I may have forgotten it off the top of my head. 
And in the title of the email, please put the time that you got so I can find submissions easier, so I don't actually miss winners. That's, you know, that makes things a lot, like, like, like a lot better. So yeah, hope to see some really neat strategies for this one, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, my name has been Rage. Remember to like you have enjoyed this and subscribe more. Oh, good boy. You've been watching.